got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart up on my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? welcome back it is the same mess different day you know how that goes but we just got a chair delivered that I want to put together for the living room I'm so excited about that and the kids are coming up to the end of their virtual learning which is also super exciting everyone all around is excited so I'm going to be moving their desks upstairs and the pew back into place and we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning too so let's get on into it that chair that i just moved out of the way is from the furniture in the playroom we just brought it downstairs for a few weeks until our article chair got here i actually ordered this months ago but it was on back order and it is finally here which i was so excited about i love it i can't wait to show it to you guys So most of you guys know that the couch we just got rid of before we got this sectional was gray and I loved it so much as far as the color goes. I didn't love all the feathers obviously and I knew I wanted to incorporate some type of gray furniture in here so I thought this chair would be perfect especially since the bottom of it matches the couch and I am so happy with it. I love it so much and you know as you're decorating you kind of always have some type of inspiration or an account you love to follow and for me I know this is so random but I was just thinking about it. I don't know if you guys have Instagram first of all and if you follow her but her name is Amber Massey. I think her Instagram is Massey A or something like that. She is, first of all, beautiful. She's a mom of five. Her home decor is amazing. Her style's amazing. Just everything about her is amazing. And I just feel so inspired by her posts and her stories. And she actually has a sectional very similar to mine in her house. And she has chairs similar to these. So it's kind of nice being able to look at what somebody does and know that you like the look of that. And then honestly, just trying to do something similar to that for your house and I am loving the way that it's turning out. I love it so much. My favorite thing was like how the legs tie into each other. I don't like things to be too matchy matchy. So I knew I didn't want, sorry, my kids are so loud. I knew I didn't want to chair the same color as the couch, but Ignore all the mess, we're gonna get it cleaned up and my kids wasted no time making a box fort. Also, as far as decor goes and just your style in general, first of all, it is completely okay if you shift and evolve and change your style. I know from my last house moving to this house, my style changed so much and then even as we've been in this house, for a little while my style's changing even more and my thing is just like take what somebody else does maybe feel inspired by it and do something similar to it but put your own twist on it so you're not just fully copying somebody because then you won't feel like it's your own so that's kind of what i did with a rug in our living room i had never seen anybody that had had that rug i'm sure people have but i'm just saying i had never seen anybody I love it and so I just decided to put that in there and then as far as like the decor on the shelves and stuff you guys will see in a little bit I'm going to take everything off the shelves and I just want to make it my own and now I'm just using a command hook to hang up this wreath I got from Kirkland's it's just a super simple fall wreath and I love it
I know that watching me move this pew is probably going to be comical for y'all because I moved it originally from where it was to over in that hallway over there, but in moving it back, I couldn't do it how it needed to go because I had moved the desks and the chair over there. So I decided to do it the hard way and like completely flip it all around. I was huffing and puffing and sweating by the time it was done, but hey, I did it. In the small amount of time that my kids had access to this box they made it a box for and ate popcorn in it so of course there was a little bit of a mess okay it's been a little bit of time actually since I moved the pew right after that Kate and I decided to go to Target for a little one-on-one -on -one time and we got a bunch of back to school stuff for the boys and then a few more shirts and stuff too because every time I'm in Target, I pretty much always get them because they're like $4. And we had some groceries delivered. Mark put away all of the cold stuff. I'm just gonna quickly put that away. And I'm actually vlogging right now too kind of, so I'm showing this stuff on my vlogging channel. And then I just wanna get the rest of this straightened up and the table wiped down and maybe swept or vacuumed in here and then head to bed because it's almost midnight and I wanna go to bed, but I also want the boys to wake up to a clean house on their first day back to school. Mark and I have kind of found ourselves in a rut lately with what to feed the kids for breakfast. Of course, they have the foods that they love and any kind of sweets they're always going to love because they're kids, but we try to limit at least like the super sugary foods in the morning time and they love the Belvita. They love granola bars and breakfast bars and all that type of stuff, which is really nice when you're on the go and you need something fast. But we also want to keep in mind that we want them to eat healthy occasionally at least. So what do you guys feed your kids for breakfast? Like something quick and easy and kind of like what kids typically like. I have a hard time even thinking about it because I am not a big breakfast eater. In fact, the thought of eating in the morning time makes me kind of feel nauseous and I typically can't even eat until 12 or one. So breakfast is not really my jam. Also, you guys. I thought again that I saw a spider on the counter. I think I'm traumatized. I don't know if I ever share with y'all, but one time I had eaten like some type of protein bar and I only ate half of it and I kind of wrapped the top over it and set it on the counter and kind of forgot about it, honestly. And when I went to grab it the next day, I picked it up and a spider crawled out of it. And then she had tons of baby spiders on top of her, I guess. And they just dispersed everywhere. Is that even the right word? I don't know. They went everywhere. There were spiders all over my countertop and I will never forget that moment. It was terrifying. So I think I, I think I was traumatized by that and that's why I'm scared. There was no second chances like dominoes. My life got really scattered. You couldn't keep the door shut. Since you left me here, 
You guys might have noticed me moving these little boxes around in the last couple of videos. So when all of our kids were doing virtual, our internet was struggling so much and that was probably the most frustrating part of the beginning of virtual learning. So we finally tried to do as much research as we could and by we, I mean Mark and he bought those they're like internet boosters basically they're from amazon they had really good reviews and they were life-changing for us and not that we are just all for the specific brand we bought but i can link them for you in the description box if somehow you're in the same situation as us and you are struggling with your internet i have been there and it is so frustrating but we have not had any problems since we had these little internet boosters which are great and I'm sure there's other kinds out there that are great too but it was just really convenient to order it off Amazon and have it in a couple days. Okay, it's now the next day and time to move the desks upstairs. They are so light and probably one person could move them, but they're also a little bit big, so it's kind of awkward. And then we also wanted to move the chair back up to the playroom and get the table back out in this entryway that used to be there. And you guys are gonna see, I'm going to clean it, but leave it empty, which is kind of the theme of a lot of stuff that I'm doing because I am getting out all of my fall decor, as you can see here. I have not been shopping for any new decor at all this year. I might get a couple things, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna use what I have and keep it really simple and minimalistic. And I'm not even gonna use all the stuff that I'm getting out. So I just wanted to put a few fall touches in the living room and then I leave the shelf in the living room and that table in the entryway empty because I have not been creatively inspired to decorate them yet. And I think it's gonna take a couple days. just feeling all of these bright and beautiful and bold colors for fall don't get me wrong I love some neutrals from time to time but these colors on my table make my heart so happy I even wanted to add a few pops of this stuff I really don't even know what it's called it's like a rust color though and it was like the perfect pop of color on here too and I ended up feeling so happy about this centerpiece. I had never really done anything like this before. Typically I just decorate on a tray on my table, but I felt so inspired by some other mamas here on YouTube. My friend Lynn White did something similar to this. I know my friend Amy Fritz is an incredible decorator. So I love watching their videos and feeling inspired and it's fun to do something a little bit different too. Not only 
am I an all over the place cleaner? Like I just go from one room to the next hopping around and typically don't finish a whole job until the end of the day. But I am like that with decorating too. I'll set something up, I don't like it, then I take it down, then I put it back up, and then I do like it, then the next day I don't like it. So everything you see me doing now could be different, like honestly, tomorrow. But I had mentioned on Instagram, I am decorating a tiny bit here and there on my channel and just kind of taking you guys along the process. I am not going to make it look like fall through up in my home just because well, really for a lot of reasons, if whatever you put up has to come back down, Mark is not even like really a huge fall fan. The only thing he loves about fall is football. We just love Christmas so much. So I kind of just wanted to decorate a little bit to make me happy. And then the rest of it is fine. Not every square inch of my house has to be decorated. But I also wanted to mention that if you guys are wondering like how it's going to all end up looking in my house. I am going to finish kind of decorating and cleaning and all that. And then in the next week or two, I'm going to film an updated house tour that will include all the changes that we've made in our home over the past few months and show it to y'all. So you'll have a place to see everything and I'll kind of tell where I got a lot of things from too, because I know sometimes y'all are curious about that too. my thoughts oh and i don't know which side is better I, try to I don't think i've dusted up here since we bought this shelving unit years ago and it was caked with dust it looks horrible so i kind of tried to get the vacuum up here but even that wasn't really working that great. So I used it a little bit, but then I wiped everything down and you guys are going to see here. I don't know if you can tell that little string type thing. It's actually twine, but it's several pieces. And that is what I used the very first day we had this shelf. I wanted to secure it to the wall because I was so nervous. That's before we have the brackets that are on the shelf right now that you can't see. And so I just never took that down, even though it's like firmly secure to the wall. I just always left this up, but I've completely forgotten about it until I got up here to dust this. I don't want to lead you astray. Well, give me clarity so I can see. You could fit into my life when it's daylight and it's night. I will give away my soul, but is it worth it? I don't know. I don't, I don't With the exception of maybe just a few things, I've pretty much had the same shelving decor on this unit since we bought it. And I was just kind of thinking the other day, I just want to mix things up and make it look a little bit different. So I thought in order to be like fully inspired, I would just take everything off the shelf. Granted, I did play it safe and I took a picture of it before I took everything down because 
knowing me, I am not going to like what I end up doing and I'll just go back to what we had, but I just want some new decor or at least the decor I have to be rearranged just so, I don't know, just so it's something new and fun. the shelf is so securely fastened to the wall I can't really get behind it so I was just trying to get these are actually baby wipes and I was just trying to dig them as far down there as I possibly could to get it as clean as I could and that's the best I could do Now we are moving on to our closet and to Mark's little closet area. So these light bulbs have been out for an embarrassingly long amount of time. Our closet has just been dark. Mark's side, like the closet works, but this side didn't. So we wanted to replace the light bulbs and then do a little bit of straightening up in his little office area because it gets dusty obviously over time. And then we wanted to put up a new piece of artwork on the wall too. Watching these sped up clips back kind of reminds me of the comments I get from time to time because I'll hear things like, oh, I don't know how you get everything done or I could never get that much done in a day or how do you find motivation? All those types of comments and I just want to tell y'all I'm right there with y'all and especially with all the uncertainty that the last few months has brought. I have been all out of sorts on a lot of days and there are some days that I do absolutely nothing and that's okay too. You have to give your mind and your body some rest but now that things are turning around and all four of my kids are going to be back in school as of two days from now and all four of my kids have never been in school for all day before so it's going to be a huge change for me but I'm also feeling super motivated and inspired to just make areas in my house neat and organized and make a home for every single item in my house so my kids don't have to wonder my own husband mark doesn't have to wonder i don't have to wonder we just all know where it can go and i feel like that's going to bring some order to our home i'm going to film that and kind of explain how i do things in my house and if any of it works for your house that's great too but if you guys are feeling overwhelmed or stressed to the max or feeling like you can't catch up i promise you you are not alone and it might look like i am getting all this stuff done but it's over the course of two days and it's super sped up too and i have a husband who is helping in the background so don't feel discouraged just know if you're in the thick of it right now it's a season and you're going to get through it and one day your kids aren't going to need you at all and then you're going to want them to need you so just hang in there now we're going under we're sitting out finally give it all up send me free you already took all the best of me we're sitting out finally give it all up send me free you know the one day I'll feel
So Mark basically fell for a Facebook ad. I'm just kidding. I think it actually was on Instagram, but he saw this and he loved it. And actually I'm so glad he got it because it is so fun. The colors are so bold, but it is like a really unique way of hanging it on the wall. So it has these two wooden but magnetic strips that kind of click the poster. It's not really a poster. It's kind of a different kind of material, but it clicks it together. And then you just put the sticky command strips on the back and then you hang it up, obviously make sure it's level, but one of the easiest things that we've ever hung up and it added a fun pop of color to this room. vacuuming was the very last thing I needed to do in here and then it was all clean and I'm sure it's a much better environment for Mark to work in now that it's dust free at least for a couple days and tidied up and I need to get to work on my office as you guys know it is not done and it's just kind of a landing area for everything so be looking out for that in the next couple videos because it's definitely coming soon I hope you guys enjoyed today's video that you feel super motivated I hope that y'all have a wonderful week don't forget to comment down below let me know that you're here and I will see y'all next time bye guys and in the letters you take form, 